this corn cutting is insane. I'm gonna say this is the best pyramid out of the box, 100%. I think this might be my main out of the box, literally, because this thing is so good. Hello everyone, in this video we have another unboxing from the cubicle. So interesting thing about this package, I pretty much ordered this yesterday, and it got to me today. So this pretty much shipped in literally one day to my house, which is actually insane. This is the first time I ever got a package in one day. So I kind of broke my PB in terms of shipping time. I'm not sure that's a thing. But of course, thanks to the cubicle for sending this out so quickly. And if everyone ordered from the cubicle, make sure to use code CM for 5% off. All right, so first up, we have a bag here. This is actually quite big, a bit bigger than I expected. This is pretty much big enough to hold, I think, even the semi 7 This is actually part of the promotion that they're having right now for this week, where I think you get a free bag of your choice with every order above $50. So nice, maybe to bring bigger cubes to comps or something like that. Then, of course, we have the business card. But now moving on to these puzzles, we have two cubes here. One is the Gan Pyraminx, which should be enhanced. But first, let's unbox this Engstrom Volvi 2M. So this I got because my other Volvi 2 has a lot of broken pieces. Here's my main Volvi 2M. I actually have pretty much no complaints about this puzzle. It's actually so good and it's so well broken in. But I guess I do have one complaint, which is that corners and edges break quite often. Here's my spare Volt V2 that's not magnetic and it has a lot of broken pieces. There's another one. So yeah, lots of broken pieces, also some edges and corners that are half broken. So because I have to replace pieces with non-magnetic pieces, you get some pieces like these that are quite loose. So I do want a new fresh puzzle with all the magnets installed already, so I don't have to worry too much about that. And also, I do want to try out the ancient version of this puzzle. I'm not sure if I tried this out before, but it is new on the cubicle, and I heard a lot of great things about it. So we'll see how this turns out. So first off, I think they have black top, which is not correct, so let's switch that up quickly. And then let's solve this thing quickly as well. Okay, interesting sound so far. Really interesting, actually. Let's do some actual turns. So, so far it's quite blocky and that's just because it's not broken in that much. So that should go away eventually, but so far the turning itself is definitely very good. Also the speed is very very nice so far out of the box. It's not too fast, not too slow. Normally ancient cubes are pretty fast out of the box, so yeah, that is kind of expected. I do want to check the tension quickly. Here's my main one. That's my preferred tension around there. And then this one. Around the same tension actually, so that's why I'm pretty used to this. The sound is quite weird when you turn it slowly. Uh, kind of kind of like a hollow sound, but I'm sure this will go away after breaking. Kind of how my other Volt V2 is broken. So I guess let's do a quick solve here on this puzzle. Hey, I got parody my first off. That's always nice to see. Um, the out here. And yeah, there is the solve. So obviously, since this cube is not broken in too much, I can't tell too much of how it would do. But so far, it's performing pretty well. The feel is also pretty smooth, but it has that weird sound. The setup itself and attention seems pretty much perfect for me, at least for right now. So yeah, very nice square one. I'll be breaking this in quite a bit. And this should hopefully be my main because my other square one is starting to die out a little bit. Alright, on to the final puzzle, which is going to be the Gan Pyraminx M Enhanced. So compared to the standard version, this is quite expensive. So I guess we'll see if the extra price was worth it. And then we have some accessories here, GS nuts, and I think that's it. I heard a lot of top Pyraminx solvers switch to this as their main, so I guess we'll see how I like it. Well, first off, it's very nice. It's very quiet. Yeah, I can hear that. Wow. Very, very quiet. A bit of locking issues here, but... Holy crap. This corn cutting is insane. Look at that. Like, this is effortless. What? Alright, here's my Vel V2. Uh, this. But on uh, this Gan Pyraminx. That's so good. What? I didn't even realize this. This is actually... Really good in terms of corner cutting. Forward, I'm guessing it's not as great. Yeah, and this reverse is there, wow. But yeah, forward is not as great. But I guess it's reverse corner cutting is quite insane. But usually that's how pyramids work. But this one to a larger extent, this is actually quite nice. The turning itself, of course, super quiet. Let's try the tips. 
The tips are actually nice, wow. Like, they're not too slow or anything, like the Bell V2. They're not too bad and the magnets aren't too strong either. I heard some things about the magnets being too strong. I don't think they are. And I'm feeling the magnets in the inner layers. I know this has the core magnets, so it's a bit different performing. So I kind of feel that it's like a... You can feel the magnets, but it's not as pronounced, I don't think. It's a bit of a softer click. So yeah, it maintains um, its stability while not clicking as much. So wow, this thing is out of the box, super impressive. I'm gonna say this is the best pyramix out of the box, 100%. Alright, size comparison. Yeah, around the same, so that shouldn't be much of a problem. The shades are also pretty similar, maybe not the green. But wow, this thing is super impressive, super nice turning out of the box. And also this corner cutting immediately is so good. It's also even not that loose, so... That's kind of crazy how good this pyramix is out of the box. Wow. Alright, let's do a quick solve on this thing. I think this might be my main out of the box, literally, because this thing is so good. Maybe some instability problems now that I'm turning it a bit faster. But we can always mess with the tension and see how it works. And of course we have a lot of options with GS nuts here, so we can figure out which setup works the best. Oops. Yeah, maybe a bit of issues like that, where it just locks up or it reverses way too much. So maybe I have to kind of deal with that. But yeah, that's it for this pretty short unboxing. First off for the Vopi 2. The setup is super great, not too fast, not too slow, and the tensions are very nice. The feeling itself is kind of weird because it's not broken in, but after breaking, this puzzle should be as good as my main, if not better. Now for the Pyramix, this thing is pretty much out of the box, the best Pyramix I've ever tried. They are very smooth and corn cutting is super good. When I do turn it fast though, I get some locking problems I feel like. I feel like it's kind of losing stability, kind of in this area when it reverse corn cuts. Like even though it's such a easy corn cut, I feel like if you turn fast, it's losing shape a little bit. So that's the only problem I see of this puzzle. The tips themselves are actually super good. The layers are also very good. So this is probably a main potential pure mix. So I guess to end this video off, I'll be showing some more break-in solves on these puzzles and then give some more thoughts after break-in. So here's some quick final thoughts I have regarding these two new puzzles. First off, for the Gantt Pyramix, I'm getting a lot of times close to my average, if not pretty much at my average already. However, there are still some problems. First off, the stability issue I mentioned before is still a bit of a problem. I did get some lockups and I actually got a pop one. So two more things about this puzzle. First off, I am getting a few plus twos on this puzzle. And one guess I have is that flicking on this puzzle is actually quite difficult. Maybe I'm not used to the strong core magnet. But yeah, there has been a lot of times where I had one flick left and I just couldn't do it and got a plus two. Also, this applies to the tips, which is the second thing, that the tips are a bit strong. However, there are mods that I can do to make the tip strength weaker, as well as the stability better, and I'll update on how that goes, and maybe give a tutorial on how to do it. As for the Ancient Bow V2, there's a bit less to talk about here because I already have the base puzzle. The puzzle actually turned out to be a bit loose, and I actually got one really bad lockup, so I had to tighten the puzzle a tiny bit, which fixed that issue. Other than that, I felt like the puzzle was quite blocky, and it locked up quite a bit. However, as mentioned in the video, break-in should get rid of that. And so far, after many solves, this puzzle is definitely breaking in very nicely. So that's about it for my short unboxing and first impressions on these two puzzles. Thank you for watching, and look out for new videos on these two puzzles that will be coming out in the future.